In today's video, we are going over some PlayStation 5 updates, including Sony's past replanning caused several game announcements to be rearranged, including third-party game announcements, which is rather interesting. We talked about this a little bit yesterday with the information coming from Aesthetic Gamer, but we have an in-depth look on it today as Aesthetic Gamer went even more in detail about what he was talking about, so we'll go over that. Also, a PlayStation 4 exclusive has gotten a massive update. Days Gone update is over 30 gigabytes, but it drastically reduces the game's overall file size quite a bit, and it adds a, not a lot of new features to the game as well, so Days Gone getting even better nearly a year after the game originally released. It's been nine months, so it's been quite a while, but the game continues to improve, and Metro Exodus was one of 2019's more under-the-radar titles. I thought it was rather good, and its first piece of DLC in Sam story will be launching on February 11th. We'll talk that at the end of this video. But first up, let's talk all of the PlayStation 5 updates. Sony's past PlayStation 5 replanning has caused various game announcements to be shuffled around, according to insider Dust Golem. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about tweets from Golem stating that Capcom would soon reveal a new game. In his tweets, he mentioned that this title was to be announced earlier, but due to the project needing additional time in the oven and Sony reworking the PS5, the announcement and game were delayed. In a new set of tweets, Dust Golem has now clarified what the meaning of reworking is, and it is a little bit interesting, but it was more of a rearranging of plans. Here are all the tweets from Dust Golem or Aesthetic Gamer as he goes by. Since some people are asking me about a tweet I made to clarify what I mean about the PS5 being reworked, the more accurate thing is it was replanned a bit. This is not anything recent. This was actually years ago. As far as I know, I don't know enough to give a solid answer on what exactly went down, but what I do know is that several announcements were shuffled around due to some change in certain things being revealed. I know a few game announcements from third parties were affected by some changes in planning, though that's the core of what I know. The exact titles that the insider is referring to are, of course, unknown, but one of them is the upcoming new Capcom title, which he also referenced a dinosaur. I don't know what that is linked to. A lot of people initially thought that might have meant a new Dino Crisis game, a Dino Crisis remake, a remaster, whatever the case may be. But it doesn't look like that's the case either. This new title from Capcom isn't said to be a new Dino Crisis installment. Maybe it's Deep Down or Dragon's Dogma 2. Deep Down was a game that was revealed with the PlayStation 4 way back in 2013. Never saw the light of day, but Dragon's Dogma 2 is something I think gamers would be all over, and it's a game that I had talked about that possibly could happen. I think Dragon's Dogma 2 would be huge, especially with the remaster on the PS4 doing so well. I feel like the game has gotten a second win, and whenever I talk about Dragon's Dogma or Capcom, Capcom or seeing franchises come back from Capcom when I don't mention Dragon's Dogma you guys seem to come out of the woodworks and be like come on we need a Dragon's Dogma too and yeah Dragon's Dogma was fantastic it was a very good challenging open world action RPG and I would love to see that as well with the PlayStation 5's replanning causing several game announcement being shifted I think for those of you that are a little bit worried about how many games we're gonna see on the PS5 really should temper your worries I think the PlayStation 5's launch lineup is gonna be rather good and I think within that first six month windows I think a lot of compelling games are gonna be coming so while they haven't been revealed yet we are waiting for the official revelation of the PlayStation 5 third parties are not gonna come out and announce games for the the PS5, at least the majority of them are not. I know a couple were, uh, but the majority are going to wait for the console to get announced, and then they're going to get the ball rolling. Hell, they might get the ball rolling at the reveal event whenever that happens. So you have to bear that in mind. Whatever the case may be, hopefully we hear the revelation about the PlayStation 5 rather soon, but more so, more interested in the game announcements, whether they be from third party, first party, whatever. I just want to hear some games that are actually going to be definitively a part of the PlayStation 5's, you know, six-month launch window, whatever uh, comes on launch day itself. That's what I'm really excited for, and I think a lot of you guys want to hear about that too. All right, moving on from that, how about this? Days Gone has gotten a massive update that's over 30 gigabytes in size, but it drastically reduces the game's overall file size after installation. If you're running out of room on your PlayStation 4 hard drive and you have Days Gone installed, downloading the latest enormous Days Gone update will help you save quite a bit of space. Days Gone Update 1.61 manages to optimize the overall file size and reduce the file size by over 33%. That is a significant change in file size. 
given the fact that initially the game did take up north of 60 gigabytes of space and very cool that Sony Ben Studio was able to go in and do this especially given the fact that these PlayStation 4 games and file size have just gotten bigger and bigger and if we can temper the file sizes a little bit even if it's by you know 20 gigabytes or so for a game like this if it's south of 40 gigabytes now which it is it's bringing it down to 38.71 gigabytes that's a lot more manageable than a 60 gigabyte download or install most of you guys have a one terabyte hard drive some of you guys might have a 500 gigabyte hard drive if you got the launch ps4 it's just pretty hard to manage that space, especially on a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's pretty difficult. Even on a one terabyte hard drive, if you're buying games regularly, man, with all the PlayStation Store sales, you'll finish up a terabyte rather quickly. So cool to see Days Gone get a file size reduction. Hopefully they do that with other games. I don't know how, you know, willing third parties are going to be able to go and optimize their game file size. But if Sony can go in with their first party titles and figure out how to optimize them, lower the storage space, that would be pretty great in in terms of saving us uh, in terms of saving a storage space so we can download and install more games However, the file size reduction isn't the only change that Days Gone Update 1.61 offered. The patch notes also brings with it a uh, bevy of general fixes. The mission Better to Light One Candle Bounty should uh, be obtainable to be obtained properly. General optimization towards certain missions. Scoring world properly apply when utilizing oxygen tanks in the reloaded challenge. The mission The Anarchist Spy will properly reset traps if you fail the mission. The mission Out of Nowhere Helicopters Light have been fixed. General optimization prior to playing before the game fully downloads and general improvements to optimization and stability. The developer also wanted to remind players that all of the DLC challenges that have been released are intended to be available indefinitely, so that's really great to hear. Very happy to see the successes of Days Gone, and it kind of goes to show, and I talked about this previous, but Days Gone is one of those games that I really did not expect to sell as well as it did. Did it do as well as God of War and Marvel Spider-Man? No. However, Days Gone was not coming from a very known studio, and it wasn't being done by a very, very high-profile IP either. It was a brand new IP, it was an open-world action zombie survival game which I don't know how interesting people find that genre and premise anymore. However, it sold really well. The game did have its issues. However, I thought it was a quality open world game that suffered from weird issues like honestly having too much content i feel like if you shaved off a little bit of content in the game and made it a little bit more of a concise experience this was one case where i think days gone would have ultimately improved from that but i think the majority of the game is rather good and given the fact that sony ben studio had worked on a lot of portable titles playstation vita games psp games and charted golden abyss resistance retribution games like that that are a far cry from a big budget open world playstation 4 game the fact that they were able to deliver something at the quality level of a days gone on, hey, that's something that they should absolutely be commended for because they did do a rather good job and I'm excited to see where they can go with their next game if it's on the PlayStation 5, which I imagine it will be. Will it be a Days Gone 2? Will it be a brand new IP? I don't know, but I'm definitely excited to hear what Sony Ben has up their sleeves for their next project, and we'll wait to hear on that. We probably won't hear an announcement on that for quite a while, given that Days Gone just came out nine months ago, and I did say, you know, it was a year old, but a year in game development time is really nothing, so we're probably gonna have to wait a little while before we hear about Sony Ben's next title. However, for now, check out that Days Gone update. It'll save you some storage space. And finally, for those of you guys that have Metro Exodus, Sam Story, the second piece of DLC and uh, story extension will be out on February 11th. Sam's story is coming and Sam's story follows former U.S. Marine Sam, a Spartan Ranger who has worked under Colonel Miller since the nuclear war devastated Moscow and followed Artyom in search of a world outside of the metro. Sam had long dream of returning to his homeland and perhaps even finding his father alive. The prospect seemed impossible in the darkened tunnels of the metro but when the Spartans discovered that Moscow was not only a city left alive after the war, holding out hope didn't feel so foolish anymore. Sam, determined to find a way back to the USA, departed from the Aurora to make his way through uh, tsunami ravaged harbors, ruined industrial buildings, and crumbling residential districts. However, to complete his journey, Sam will discover that he needs every tactic he has learned so far to survive, as his surroundings prove to be far trickier than expected.
In this expansive sandbox survival level, players will experience another gripping storyline featuring new characters, weapons, and mutant variants in a huge non-linear environment that offers hours of gameplay. I've said pretty good things about Metro Exodus. I did not think the game was quite as good as Metro 2033 or Metro Last Night, but I thought those games were exceptional. It's much like me talking about Batman Arkham Knight being the worst game in the Batman Arkham series. Like, what does that really say? Arkham Asylum and Arkham City were fantastic games. Metro Exodus is a good game. I just thought 2033 and Last Night were on another level. Whatever the case may be, Exodus is available pretty cheap now, and if you want to check it out, if you want a quality single-player first-person shooter, Metro Exodus definitely fits the bill. And Sam's Story is available through the Expansion Pass. I believe they do sell like a complete edition of Metro Exodus and you can find that relatively cheap these days as well. Uh, and Sam's Story will be out on February 11th. And that's going to conclude this video again. Sony replanning their PlayStation 5 announcements has caused several game announcements to be rearranged. Hopefully we hear more on that relatively soon. That Capcom game we can speculate for days on. The latest Days Gone update is over a 30 gigabyte download, but it drastically reduces the game's overall file size. Very interesting that Sony Ben was able to manage that and Metro Exodus' DLC and Sam Story launches February 11th. If you wanted an extension for Metro Exodus, you'll have the opportunity to check that out early next month. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.